taking a job when you're about to go on the toughest road, road trip of the season is not the smartest decision. Uh, I even told them that, can we wait till All-Star break? Two guys forget what we're running. Then we miss the shot and then nobody gets back. That tells you all you need to know about where our heads were. We had some guys here and we had some guys in Cabo. JJ Redick recently called out Doc Rivers for constantly making excuses and throwing his players under the bus. Doc was making excuses the first day he was hired by the Bucks. In this video, we're gonna look at some of the worst excuses made by Doc Rivers in his coaching career. Let's get started. My Orlando team was the eighth seed. That was an eighth seed. Go look at that. I want you to go back and look at that roster. I, I dare you to go back and look at that roster. The Clipper team that we lost 3-1. Chris Paul didn't play in the first two games and was playing on one leg. Um, and we didn't have home court. And then the last one, to me, is the one we blew. Now, it was in the bubble. And anything could happen in the bubble. There's no home court. Game seven would have been in L.A. You know, um, but it just happens. First of all, even if Chris Paul was out the first two games, you still went up 3-1, so it didn't matter. And in the bubble, no one had home court. You had the better team. You were favored to win the title that year. You gotta win that series. Doc would follow that up by blaming Paul George. Uh, I think the biggest lesson you learn, and you always learn lessons, are, are uh, you know, from last year's team, we had a, a starting group and a second group uh, that the, the guys that had there the year before you know, honestly didn't accept, you know, at least one of the new guys. I thought they accept Kawhi. Uh, and if they don't accept everybody, uh, then, then you usually don't win. Doc Rivers recently doubled down and said that he told Kawhi Leonard that they shouldn't trade for Paul George and keep Shea Gilgis Alexander. But Kawhi Leonard insisted and they made a bad trade. Either way, that still doesn't excuse blowing a 3-1 lead to Denver. Regardless of which player they had, they should have won that series. But Doc Rivers changed the story again and said that his team didn't cooperate. Well, you've had teams like this, right? You've had star groups before, and you've had star groups where you've gone on to win it all, and you've had star groups where you've fallen short, right? I'm looking at Boston. I'm looking at Los Angeles. What group does this, this one that you have right now, does it feel more similarly to one or another? That's a great question. Um... I would say definitely more uh, leaning towards Boston uh, than the Clippers and not trying to take anything away from that team. Uh, that team was never going to win. When you look back at it, uh, we just didn't get along well enough as a group. And you can't win without cooperation. That's the only way you can win. Uh, and obviously better play. Uh, but this team is deeper. This team reminds me a lot of Boston. We've added some late pieces uh, to our team like the Boston team. Mm -hmm. Um, we get along, we, uh, it may be the right time to. If you noticed, Doc kept saying that this 76ers team was better than that Clippers team, but when they flamed out of the playoffs in three straight seasons, Doc blamed James Harden. Did you like coaching him? Was it okay? Like, how would you rate the experience? It was challenging, uh, more because we were fighting two things and not like visually fighting, um, is that James is so good at playing one way. And the way that I believe you have to play to win in some ways is different because it's a lot of giving up the ball, moving the ball, coming back to the ball. Uh, I would have loved to have him younger when that was easier for him uh, because giving up the ball and getting back the ball is hard. Like it's physical, yeah. it's exhausting. Um, so it'd been interesting if I had him younger uh, where he could have done that more, you know, coming off of dribble handoffs, going down the hill. You know, he didn't finish as well as he finished um, because he's older and, th and that, that happens. I'm not saying that every excuse Doc has made has been inaccurate, but he compares himself to Greg Popovich. What, what part of this loss would you attribute to coaching? I don't know. Um, would you ask Pop that question? No, you wouldn't. So don't ask me that question. He even took credit for the James Harden Clipper trade. If Doc Rivers is really an elite coach, he wouldn't have blown all those playoff series, and he definitely wouldn't have lost to the G League Grizzlies. All coaches have to go through adversity. All teams have to deal with injuries. Doc Rivers has had some of the best talent in the NBA over the years. He's always on a title contender. If he's really an elite coach, he should have more than one championship by now but he fails to make adjustments in the playoffs. And that's why his teams consistently blow these big leads. But as always, I wanna hear from you guys in the comment section down below. Do you think Doc Rivers makes too many excuses? And don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more NBA content just like this. And I will see you in the next upload.